Right, this is a heart of rump, so slightly different to your traditional D rump, which is a standard English cut. Uh, the cap, which would come across here with the covering fat has been taken off, and you're left with a nice two kilo piece of meat approximately. Most important thing here for chefs is to know how to cut the meat. If you see here, the grain of the meat is running across this way and down. So, if you were to be cutting it into, say, eight ounce steaks, you would want to be cutting it across the grain in slices going back like that into your steaks and that will give you your 8 ounce steaks. The only issue with that is that you will have inside the muscle which is the sinew on the rump steak. This is called the spider and it is essentially the buttock muscle which he uses for clenching and it runs through the whole meat. Uh, usually somewhere along that line. Take that away. Somewhere along this line. Now, on the top side of the meat, you generally get this little line of fat, and that's a misnomer. That is not the line of where the, the actual spider runs. So what we'll do today is we're going to trim it out, and you'll be left with a piece this side, which is the rump fillet, and then the bulk of the rump afterwards. We would have trimmed out the sinew, which is not useful for, for cooking steaks because it's slightly chewy once cooked, uh, and you'll be able to have pure rump meat for your steaks and the rump fillet, uh, which is absolutely delicious. So, sharp knife, and uh, with a filleting knife, pointed knife, we're going to start to have a little look at where the spider actually is running here. So this is the bulk of it here. I'm going to turn the meat over. The most important thing initially is to find out which way this is running. So with the tip of the knife, just going to work down and you pair the meat out and you'll find also that the meat runs the spider will run across the meat for a period. So if you, as you see as I'm working the meat back, you'll get an idea of how that sinew is running across. Sometimes the sinew is very, very deep and thick. And other times it's not. There's no telling which which way. Now you're getting a feel. Now I'm going to run the knife underneath that start to trim out the early part of the muscle. Okay, that leaves us with your rump, the bulk of your rump, and what is now the rump fillet. Rump fillet has still got its sinew attached on. 
So I'm going to go halfway along. Just come underneath. And then I'm going to tilt the knife up slightly. Then I'm going to do the same the other way, because you don't want you want to try and remove as much of the sinew as possible and as minimal amount of the meat. Okay, so that essentially is the bulk of the sinew there, which we will discard. We have a tiny little bit here, which we will trim off. And that essentially Little piece in there. Just trim that out. That essentially leaves you with your rump fillet. That contains no sinew now. And that can be, chefs can either wrap that in cling film and twist the ends so that you then have got a nice long cylindrical piece. Moving on, we've now got the rest of our rum. We just need to tidy up this a little bit. So trim off some of these little fatty pieces. And just make sure there's no more sinew running through. Okay. A little piece of fat here. Okay, that is the rest of your rump, and that can now also be cut, remember, across the grain, so into steaks, sizes that you want, and that will be how you take the heart of rump fillet and separate it and separate the spider and the sinew which customers don't want to eat and leaves you with a rump, rump steak on both sides. I'm just going to face up the front of the rump and then we're going to cut uh, eight ounces, aren't we? So there you go, 224 grams. That's your perfect rump steak. And as you can see in there, that is where we've trimmed out. We have a perfect rump steak, fantastic marbling, and that should eat perfectly. Right, rum fillet. Bring those across. Now, you can see through there, no sinew at all. And that, that will eat almost like a fillet, and it certainly looks like a fillet. 